Scene Magazine, y'all, they're like a socialist propaganda machine of nonsense. They attack me, and they will attack Holton Wise, whether or not I have anything to do with it at all, right? With this new code enforcement, this new legislation, and what's happening today, how does that, how do you anticipate like, companies like Holton Wise will respond? They're going to be on the defensive now, yeah. because now you have an administration and that's going to be aggressive um, and innovative in terms of how we hold these, you know, immoral, morally bankrupt uh, companies who prey on Cleveland's neighborhoods. And, you know, some folks might not agree with it, but that's okay, because we have a moral obligation as a city to fight for equitable, fair neighborhoods, and, and that's why we're so excited about our residents first housing agenda because for the first time in a long time in our city's history we now have a robust housing package to hold these predatory out-of-state landlords and investors accountable. I know what's going on in the Cleveland market right so I'm always paying attention to stuff but the the city going after these landlords that that was pretty interesting how that that came to my knowledge right the reason being is they only mentioned one landlord by name in that entire article and who do you think that landlord was who was it Holton Wise. Holton Wise, y'all. And guess what? Who was not one of those 50? Holton Wise. Holton Wise, that's right. The 1% rule. This 79900 duplex needs to be renting for 800 Is this thing renting for double that at 1600 Being at the 2% rule? Nope. Even higher than that, y'all. Seventeen seventy a month, right? 1% rule is 800 2% rule, which is completely unheard of. Not even discussed in 2023. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Hey, Cleveland investors, if you're interested in Section 8 properties that blow the 1% roll away, check this one out. 11702 Saywell, Cleveland, okay? $79,900, y'all. Now, if you're doing the math, right, you're doing the math at home, to hit the 1% roll, this thing would need to rent for, oh, I don't know, 800 bucks a month, okay? Technically, probably seven ninety nine ninety nine or something are in there, but we'll call it 800 okay? To hit the 1% rule, this $79,900 duplex needs to be renting for 800 Is this thing renting for double that at 1600 Being at the 2% rule? Nope, even higher than that, y'all. 1770 a month, right? 1% rule is 800 2% rule, which is completely unheard of, not even discussed in 2023. We used to talk about the two percent like basically the one percent rule uh that's what it is now like we used to call it the two percent rule okay back in like 20 like i don't know 2013 2014 still right stuff was in the two percent range so it was the two percent rule but this is 2023 y'all there ain't no two percent rules out there okay except for right here okay the 2% rule migrated to the 1% rule, but guess what? We're still blowing the 2% rule away here in 2023. $17.70 a month for under $80,000. Fully occupied triplex, okay? And truth be told, honestly, with the way Section 8 pays and stuff in the Cleveland market now, because, like, rent is insanely high, um, you could probably eventually get that up to 2500 I mean, to be honest with you guys, the, the rents in Cleveland from when I started investing – in real estate to today have skyrocketed. I own apartment buildings uh, that when we bought them, like the units and stuff were renting for like 450. Those same units today are $750 units, right? So uh, rent's very, very high, right? Uh, this particular property, massive amount of rent, you have more room to go up, okay? But we here at Holton Wise, on Holton Wise TV, pride ourselves in giving you guys a true and accurate representation of what you're buying. Some people, you get turnkey companies, turnkey providers out there, they're going to just fluff you, fluff you, fluff you. Be like, oh my God, it's so cheap. It's so cheap because it's the greatest deal of all time, right? This is real estate. You give, you take. Everything's a double-edged sword. Yes, the numbers are impeccably amazing here. Yes, it's blowing away the numbers on other properties, but there's a reason for that, right? 
because in exchange for the low price, you're taking on more risk. This is one of Cleveland's riskier neighborhoods, okay? Have I invested, made money, and seen neighborhoods in Cleveland that are much worse than this one? Yes. Like, if you look down the street, you don't see a boarded up house or a vacant lot every other lot, but this is still a pretty impoverished, distressed area, right? So I do recommend that if you guys were to buy a particular property like this, you continue forward with the idea in your head that Section 8 is probably going to be what you need to do, right? Because when you get into neighborhoods like this, uh, collecting cash payments uh, consistently over the long haul, is proven to be very, very difficult. And some people are like, oh, well, I'll just get a really good property manager. A really good property manager can't take uh, water from a, a rock, right? They can't get blood from a turnip or tuna, whatever the, whatever the hell that saying is. I think it's blood. Is it blood from a turnip, tuna? Blood from a tulip? I don't know. I think I'm lost with what you're saying with that one. There's, there's, you know, you can't get water from a rock, and they say you can't get blood from a turnip. Turnip! Is it a turnip? A turnip? I've heard, I've heard water from a rock. I think it's a fruit. Is it a fruit? I don't know. Anyway, moral of the story is, look, your property managers, folks, yeah, sure, you could hire property managers that are really good at what they do. But if the fucking tenant ain't going to pay rent, the tenant ain't going to fucking pay rent. That's just where it is. And then at that point, the property manager, if they're good, they'll evict the tenant for you, right? But they can't force someone who's not willing to pay rent or not able. Are you Googling it right now? He's go He's go He's Googling it. He's going he's gonna to get it for us. He's Googling it up. But the property manager, y'all, they're not going to be able to force somebody to pay rent if they are unwilling or unable to do so, right? So if they're good, they will then evict the tenant for you, okay? So that's what you're getting with this particular property, right? The numbers are great, but you are in a higher risk area, right? It's very important that you know it. Can't squeeze blood from a turnip. Tur so it's turnip. A turnip, turnip, not tune up, it ain't a car. Can't squeeze blood from a turnip. I, knew I told you that was a saying, dude. People say that, bro. People say that. Anyway, back to the property, though. Numbers, really, really good. Neighborhood, pretty sketch. Highly recommend Section 8. Another thing you got to know is it is not yet lead certified. The current owner has not gone through the lead certification process. So that is something that you will need to do, right? Here in Cleveland, new laws require all landlords every two years to get their properties lead certified. Uh, we are actually at the forefront of teaching you guys about the lead certification process. Uh, a couple years ago, we actually, I don't know if it was a couple years ago, the, I don't know how long, it was, it was a while ago. How, how, long, how long ago was it that we made the lead video that I'm about to link? A uh, year and a half, so about two years. Yeah, pretty close. So in the notes, you're going to see our lead certification video. It's half hour long. I teach you guys all about how you get your properties lead certified because if you're going to invest in Cleveland, you have to get them lead certified or the city will come after you, right? They will come after you. And then, of course, they will attack me and they will attack Holton Wise, whether or not I have anything to do with it at all, right? With this new code enforcement, this new legislation and what's happening today, how does that, how do you anticipate like companies like Home Life will respond. They're going to be on the defensive now yeah. because now you have an administration and that's going to be aggressive um, and innovative in terms of how we hold these, you know, immoral, morally bankrupt uh, companies who prey on Cleveland's neighborhoods. And, you know, some folks might not agree with it, but that's okay because we have a moral obligation as a city to fight for equitable, fair neighborhoods. And, and that's why we're so excited about our residents' first housing agenda because for the first time in a long time in our city's history, we now have a robust housing package to hold these predatory, out of state landlords and investors accountable. Look, here's the deal. The city, they're serious about this lead stuff, guys. Okay, they just literally seen magazine, just put out an article like four or five days ago talking about how the city is prosecuting 50. 50 Cleveland landlords because they f did not follow the new laws and they did not get their rental properties lead certified. And they're going after these 50 landlords criminally. Believe it or not, building code violations in Cleveland are a misdemeanor. So, like, technically, I, I think it's only happened. I've only ever seen, like, I've only ever heard of, like, one landlord ever getting jail time. But technically, like, you can do jail time um, for building code violations, okay? So they're actually very serious about this. They're going after those people. It's pretty funny, though. The reason, well, I mean, I got my, you know, ear to the... 
the pulse of the market. We're just going over all kinds of sayings that I sort of know. And sort of know. Two birds, yeah. one stone. Oh, two birds with one stone? That's a good one. That's like a can't skin a cat. There's more than one way to skin a cat. One fell swoop. Oh, one fell swoop. All right. But anyway, the moral of the story is I know, I know what's going on in the Cleveland market, right? So I'm always paying attention to stuff. But the... The city going after these landlords, that, that was pretty interesting how that, that came to my knowledge, right? The reason being is they only mentioned one landlord by name in that entire article. And who do you think that landlord was? Who was it? Holton Wise. Holton Wise, y'all. And guess what? Who was not one of those 50? Holden Wise. Wise, that's right. Scene Magazine, y'all, they're like a socialist propaganda machine of nonsense. <laughs> and uh, you don't really know if what they're going to say is actually going to be true or not. So uh, it's funny. They actually published this article about how they're going after these 50 uh, Cleveland landlords. And the only landlord that's actually named in the entire article happens to be Holton Wise, who does not have any properties that are running illegally, has everything lead certified, and has been at the forefront of teaching you guys how to get your properties lead certified, a la the lead certification video tutorial, which is in the notes below, which is a half hour long, which was produced almost two years ago. But of course, those skinny jean wearing, no chest hair having, socialist douchebags over at Scene Magazine love writing articles about me. That one kid, Mark Mark Apria. I think he's upset because I don't think he can grow a mustache. Anywho, um, that's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, but it is what it is, y'all. The city is dead freaking serious about your properties being lead certified y'all so that's another reason this property is so freaking cheap yes you're blowing away the one percent rule yes you're blowing away the two percent rule but know that you got two negatives involved with this property one you got to get a lead certified because right now it is not lead certified and that is a problem legally as the new owner you will be fined potentially criminally charged if you do not get it lead certified number one number two you're going to have a tough tenant base, so I highly recommend you go Section 8 to make sure you can consistently collect rent all the time. Now, if you're down to do all of that and you're down to take on all of that and get this amazing price, send me the offer, sales at holdenwise.com. Cash offers or financed offers, both are fine. Just include the property address in the subject line. If you want to pay cash, include your proof of funds. If you want to finance it, include a pre-approval letter. If you want to get started in Cleveland real estate, but you don't have a lender yet, guess what? I'm here for you, right? I do a lot of business out here. That might be why skinny jean wearing douchebags from Scene Magazine talk about me, whether or not I'm involved in the particular real estate story they're writing, right? They just like to drop my name because I've done a lot of business out here, so a lot of people know who I am, right? Um, having said that, I've been doing this a very long time. I've built together a network of a lot of people. I've connected a lot of investors like you with money, with capital. So if you need help getting capital, you need someone to help you fund and finance your investment operation out here in this market, just shoot me an email. I will get you my list. Over $200 million in sales, folks. I've been doing this well over a decade. I have a ton of lenders uh, who are trying to do business with people like you. They don't care what state you live in. They'll loan to people in all 50 states. They'll even do uh, some foreign nationals, right? Canadian citizens, a lot of folks from the United Arab Emirates, folks from Singapore. Uh, we even got some uh, people from like the UK and stuff like that, okay? So uh, if you guys are looking for investor financing, just let me know. We got a lot of people that want to work with you. Uh, they'll have to underwrite you and stuff, of course. It ain't like a free friggin' lunch here. Uh, but if, if you're serious about getting started in the game, getting started in the biz. I got the financing for you, and more importantly, I have the information for you because if you're going to be here in this market, Cleveland, whether or not you buy this property in this video, y'all, that don't matter to me. What's important is you know that you got to stay in touch with the laws and how things are going to work and how it's going to happen with the tenant base and things like that. So that's what we do here, right? So if this is the first time you ever watched an episode here on Holton Wise TV, Go ahead and subscribe, man, because we are here to help investors like you. Let's go. Straight. You want me to hold the light for you while we go in? Uh, probably won't need it. I mean, I, I will need the light, but I can I can handle it, I think. Let's get that. 
go in the back first? Yeah, I'm going to do the back side. I just want to get this step so I don't forget about it. Cool. Definitely got groundhogs. Yeah, not doing the backyard. Couple of big boys back there. All right, that was short lived. You want to lead the way for me, and then I'll. Yeah, just go through a knock. Yeah. Dog spotted me right away. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.